Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you beautiful people straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2023 video. Now guys I am continuing on this is part three of a three-part series where I'm going to be giving you my tops versus my predictions. If you guys have missed part one where I had a little look at the host country and the big five and part two where I had a little look at semi-final one click the link at the top here somewhere and it will take you straight to the playlist because I don't want you missing out on potentially your favourite song and your favourite semi-final. But as aforementioned, as following suit, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 of semi-final 2 based on my faves and my favourite songs from my 10th place all the way through to my 1st place. And on the flip side of the coin, I'll be giving you my predictions to who I think will progress through and who will qualify for the grand final. Because as we know guys, these lists are two very different things. My personal favourites aren't always to everybody's tastes. I've gathered this in the comments. And yes, believe it or not, I do have a brain in there. So I have some predictions to who I think will qualify as opposed to my tastes. And before we get cracking, I want to know who you predict is going to qualify from semi-final two to the grand final and what your top 10 looks like of your personal tastes. And are they two different lists? Got to be said before we get cracking, I think this is the tougher semi-final, not in the sense of quality of songs, but in the sense that this one is quite wide open, isn't it? And I think it really could go any way, to be honest. But there is no time like the present, so let's do this. Oh, it's time to be frank. Let's rank. So guys, I am on this side of the screen, which means in this first half of the video, I'll be giving you my top 10 of my personal favourites. From my 10th place all the way through to my first place. I'll keep it short and sweet because I do have a tendency to babble and just speak my mind. So in 10th place, I have Poland. This is possibly the biggest guilty pleasure of mine through this competition. I just think the hook is so, so catchy and it is so tropical and it makes me feel good. In 9th place, I have Estonia. Now this song just hits hard and it does come from a different angle. The deep tone to Alika's voice is everything and I think it has huge huge potential. We love a James Bond-esque ballad. In eighth place this might surprise some people but I have San Marino. I really enjoy this track and I really don't understand how it is so underrated. Yeah the artistry might not be on point and it might be a little bit messy in places for some people but I really enjoy it and I appreciate it for what it is. Rock on San Marino. Another guilty pleasure of mine, in seventh place we have Denmark, another song that I feel is truly underrated by the fandom. Yeah, it's a bit of a teeny bopper, it's quite contemporary, but I think it's cool. I think it's a cute little pop song. I think it is very modern and very commercial and slots straight in with the radio. Sixth place, we have Iceland. This is a powerhouse of a track. The vocals are incredible. They're actually insane. I don't know how the vocals are still so strong with all of the movement going on stage. So much potential. In fifth place, we have Lithuania. This song just hits hard. I love the sentiment, the emotion and everything behind the track. It's so heartfelt. Monica gives it her all every time. Fourth place, we have Georgia. This is the biggest shot from me this year I cannot believe the quality that Georgia are hitting with yeah the lyrics are quite messy even though it's meant to be a poem rather than an actual song but it just reeks of quality now in third place we have Austria this is just pop 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 all the way through or should I say po 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 lyrical genius I love the message behind the song I love the craziness and the wackiness of it all the vibes these girls give me are great they're fun they're feel good they're colourful and they're here to party and I'm all for it. In second place, I have Belgium. I absolutely adore this song. First listen, wasn't too keen. Now, I am a stan. The lyrics are so empowering and preach a really good message. It's nice to see Belgium do something upbeat and something feel good and pop as opposed to dark pop. And good stuff is just a little angel, isn't he? I absolutely love him. And, uh... I do love a bit of cheese. And if you're following this channel, this is going to come at no surprise to you, but my first place is Cyprus. I absolutely adore Cyprus. I think the song does appeal to the masses. I think it is a mid-tempo banger. The lyrics are simple, but so effective. They are strong, in my opinion. Great vocals. Love the range within Andrew's voice. He is just effortless. I think he does paint a narrative and a picture with the emotion in his vocals and the simplistic lyrics. Well done, Panic Records. Great production. Right, now I am over this side of the screen and we all know what that means. These are my predictions for Semi-Final 2. And guys, these are going to come in no particular order. This is just me speaking my mind and word vomiting to everybody. 
and I'll be giving you my little reasons too. So firstly, I think Armenia will qualify for the grand final. I think they are wedged very, very lovely here between Denmark, which is a bit of a lacklustre opener, and Romania, which we all know isn't to everybody's tastes in the fandom, and I don't think it's going to do incredibly well. Armenia has something about it that is captivating, and it has two different genre switch-ups in there, and I think it will get a lot of votes. Next up, I think Estonia are going to qualify because it is such a classy, sophisticated James Bond-esque ballad, and where it is in the running order, it is just after Romania, and as I said before, Romania doesn't have great potential in my opinion. I also think Belgium are going to qualify because everybody loves a cheesy disco classic, and this song is empowering, got great vocals to it, and it is a feel-good, get-up-and-dance kind of track. No toilet breaks here. Right guys, next up, I have put Cyprus down as qualifying. Now, I wasn't too sure about this one at first, and I think it could potentially be a shock non-qualifier, just because it is mid-tempo and it kind of does drain the mood a little bit within this running order, but I really enjoy it, and I think it will qualify because everybody loves Cyprus. They have allies in the semi-final, Andrew is eye candy, and if he can perform that high note like he does within the studio version, it is going to go down incredibly well. And I think that is a massive draw of this song. Next up, I have Iceland, and I think this is going to qualify because it is wedged in between Cyprus and Greece, and both of those songs kind of take it back a little bit, whereas Iceland does stand out as this powerhouse anthem, doesn't it? And when they see this artistry and they see them giving it their all, I think people will pick up the phone or whatever and vote for them. Especially that little hook in there. The p -p -p power. Next up, I have Slovenia here. I think Slovenia are going to qualify because I'm going to predict it now. I don't think Poland's vocals are going to progress and get any better than what we have seen so far. The live ones anyway. And I think in comparison, Slovenia is going to stand out a tree. And I think it has done them the world of favours coming after Poland. But question to you guys. Do you think Blanca's vocals will improve? Or do you think we're not going to see anything much better than what we've seen in the national finals? Next up, I think Georgia are going to qualify because they give such a different vibe to what we've just seen from Slovenia. And they are wedged in between two bands so I think Georgia just stand out in comparison also the artistry is captivating she gives me a real Lady Gaga vibe and she's like a chameleon really she has so many different looks to her and if staged correctly this could be a moment right next up I have Austria as a sure qualifier because it is wacky I think put this next to anything and it stands out but the fact that it is wedged between two lackluster songs with San Marino and Albania I think this is just in comparison it blows them out of the water doesn't it imagine that recap as well when it goes through the songs at the end you'll have San Marino, Austria, Albania, and people will remember it. It definitely has a memorable factor. A following suit with that method and why I think Austria will qualify, I think Lithuania will qualify too, because traditionally I feel like it is seen as the best ballad in this semi-final, and there is so much heartache within it. When Monica just explodes on stage and hits those power notes effortlessly every time, it is something to behold. And yet again, we have San Marino, Georgia, Albania, Lithuania, just another one that stands out and that gospel element as well is a winner we all love a gospel element now this might surprise some people but i also think that australia will qualify because the song is so progressive because there are genre switch ups in there i think it's memorable i think it is placed very very well being last in this semi-final and i think people will enjoy it as the recap is done at the end people will go Oh yeah, I like this one. It's a song you can really get into. There are different genre switch-ups in there. And I think it has high likability factor. Now, a couple of thoughts that I have to pose to you guys, and I would like to know your opinions on them. Do we think that Poland could be a shock qualifier? Do you think Blanka's performance could improve tenfold and really whip out of the bag some decent vocals? And if she does provide some good vocals, do you think that could see her through to the final? Because that song is catchy as hell. Also, another question I want to pose to you. Do you think that out of this semi-final, Cyprus, Greece, it's looking like it's one or the other? Do you agree or do you think both of them have potential to go through? Let me know what you think and let me know all of your unpopular opinions. Right guys, so there we have it. They were my top 10 faves versus my top 10 of predictions. The top of my faves in this video goes to Cyprus and the top of my predictions in this video goes to Austria. I think Austria are a surefire qualifier.
but they were just my opinions. I want to know what you think, and I want to know if you think they will qualify. But they were just my opinions. I want to know what you think, and I want to know what your qualifiers and your faves look like. Let me know all of your thoughts down below, guys. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments. But that is all for me and all for this video today. If you are loving the season and you cannot wait for next week, please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget that bell notification button. That way you'll stay up to date with all of the other content I have to bring you on this channel. We are not done yet, folks. But all the same, for me to say is thank you so much for watching please stay safe look after yourselves and i'll see you in the next one take care everybody goodbye